today I'm going to be making a video on all three of the Spear Halloween Horrorplex Theater characters. Hello everybody, my name is CJ Hunter. Today I'm going to be making a video on all three of the Jemmy Horrorplex Theater characters sold at Spear Halloween for the 2010 season. Now starting off we have Pinhead. Pinhead um, was sold at Spear Halloween in the 2010 season for I believe $250 on sale. I'm not sure. Uh, I think maybe $200. I'm not sure. Um, but besides that, mine is a static right now. But here's a little video of him. He's really awesome. His box, you know, is illuminated, lights up, and it's just really cool. And appearance wise, I love his robe and, you know, the blood splatter. Just everything about it. Really cool. And the head moves, the mouth moves, the eyes move, and, you know, the phrases are just awesome. Um, besides that, mine is a static. Um, he's just really awesome, even as a static piece. <sighs> also, the pins in the head add to his character really well. You know, he's just just a really awesome character. Um, Appearance-wise, you know, kind of animation-wise, but he kind of lacks some animation a little bit. Um, but yeah, that's it for Pinhead. He's really cool. Now we have the 2010 Michael Myers, also sold at Spear Halloween for the 2010 season in the Spirit Horrorplex Theater theme. Now this guy has great detail, and he's probably the most realistic-looking one out of the three. As you can see, he has a pretty big head, and the hair just also adds to that. And the dark black eyes, you know, really make him just creepy and, you know, add to him. Mine's a little dirty. Mine does fully work, unlike, you know, the pinhead. Um, but yeah, mine fully works. Got him for a great deal. Uh, video's up on my channel if you want to watch that. Um, and just the blood on the knife, blood on the hands just looks really cool and awesome also you can make his knife go either way but i just like it like this um and you know the overall suit and appearance of him is really really cool also the animation now the animation he moves his eyes his head his body turns his arm goes up and down and he plays the halloween theme of course which is really awesome um, yeah, so overall, I have to give this prop a 9 out of 10. Now we have the 2010 Freddy Krueger by Jemmy. Mine does not fully work. The issue with mine is the head does not move. Um, it has, it has to do with the motor issue, but, um, besides that, he's really cool. And his eyes move, as you can see, his mouth moves, head moves, body turns, arm goes up and down just like Michael and the claws also you know move they kind of fidget um, and the body turns I think I didn't say that um yeah he has great detail he's the most detailed out of the three uh, you know he has almost movie accurate like all those you know stains on the side of his face it kind of looks like pizza face that's what I call him um, but yeah just really gory and cool looking this is by far my favorite out of the bunch. The only downside of this prop is that in the movie he is a pedophile. Um, but yeah, besides that, appearance-wise he's really cool. And just, you know, another downside to him is his shoulders sometimes look very, um, how do I say it, very robotic-like. You can adjust them like I did on mine, but mine obviously aren't perfect. Um, and yeah, you could also pose his arm. Just like Michael. Uh, he's really cool. And that's all I had to say about them. I give Freddy overall a 9 out of 10. Actually an 8. Um, but yeah, he has the most animation out of any Jemmy character made. I'm pretty sure. But uh, yeah, I give this guy a 8 out of 10. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And thank you all for watching.